Welcome to Job Skills Share. Today I'm going to share another blog, a testimonial by Lisa, uh, Liza Maza. So um, this is a pretty good uh, blog that I want to share because she also shared some interview questions, um, which is great for people who are trying to get into IT jobs. So her title for this blog is some of the interview questions I remembered on my first successful application in an IT company. So she write, Hi Donish, I am proud to tell you that I landed an IT job in one of the largest IT company in the, in the world and the biggest tech firm in Canada. Now let me let me tell you guys back a little bit. What happened was that Leza one day uh, messaged me on Facebook and she wanted to start from somewhere and then we went back and forth and I told her these are the courses just like I did for all my videos to watch this video and then in this I explain where to start and everything so she started and now after that conversation she's basically replying back since I started my membership in your site I visit it every day and learn from the lessons you have discussed I actually don't have any knowledge in Active Directory etc to apply in an entry-level position in IT but because of your learning material and motivation I that I watched uh, you know, in YouTube, I was able to ask my interview as a service test analyst and told them that I have continuing education or online courses uh, that will back me up um, for the said position. For the said position, so she basically straight up told them that look, I'm taking online courses and these courses are good. She probably explained it to them, showed it to them. I don't know what she did, but they uh, believed in her and now she had that confidence to talk about it. Thank you so much. I hope you continue to help individuals like me who have an eagerness to learn. I'm planning to get membership plus subscription uh, for more advanced training. She was in Philippines actually at the time when she messaged me, I guess, because I guess she was going through some process. I don't know what her uh, situation was, but maybe she can come and comment it. But the one thing that she did right here, um, that she shared information for her interview questions. And I really, really love people like that because what happened is that these are the people that are kind of helping other people, you know, because when someone new go to the interview, this is gold for them. This is like everything because that's what people prepare for and this is what gets you in. Once you get to the job, then our platform takes over. We give you the skills and everything, even before we try to help you out. But this is pretty good stuff right here. So the first interview questions, and I'm not going to answer this because every professional, every one have a different way of answering questions. So do your own search on Google, but I'm going to say this, this blog is actually available and I'm going to put a link on it so you can copy these questions and search about it. So the first question that they asked her, tell me something about yourself, your education, your education background, employment history and why did you leave the company so basically she will tell her about herself that this is what I am uh, you know some personal stuff and education on what where she went what kind of college uh, what uh, what other things that she, she's taking employment history if she had one she would have told them not didn't have one she probably didn't say that uh, why did you leave the company of course that depends on if you are actually working versus not working so your answers would be uh, depending on that how much salary do you expe um, expect so sometimes if people put like 50 to 60 max 50 minimum 60 people stay in the middle or if you're going for entry level then you kind of like you know say anything above 50 so then they know you know your entry level we're gonna and they're not gonna give you like the least minimum but they'll give you more and not to the max how do you know, what do you know about Active Directory, Microsoft's Exchange Server, RSA, Authentication, ETC? So in, in the blog, she kind of said that she didn't know anything about Active Directory, but when she took our courses, look at the confidence level that she would have then if somebody asked her, what do you know about Active Directory? And some little bit of information about Exchange, don't know too much about RSA, Authentication, because we never did that. So it depends on what, what her, her answer was at that time, I don't know. Um, but Active Directory was the first one and that's for the entry level person who's going for like service tech position that's like the top one right there if she would have explained that pretty good because of the courses that's what her confidence is like right there you know and people would love to hear more about okay how did she know so much about Active Directory and the things that she's going to be doing at work compare change management to case management depending on how you answer this is this is more like I said you need to search are you familiar with how to use Citrix, Microsoft Exchange Server, Microsoft Outlook, how to use them for troubleshooting? This is another one that we 
uh, did a full video on Outlook troubleshooting as a help desk technician or IT support technician. We have done that uh, a pretty good video. There's two videos that are available and people love that video. There's, it's helping team members, it's helping people at work, it, ha it helps people who just are not IT people they're just fixing their outlook so this is pr probably where she kind of get give her answer here um, okay this is a 24-hour business meaning our schedule can be shifting how will you cope with shifting schedule she probably said that hey you know we, we, since I'm applying for this job and this is the kind of things that I want so I'm okay with you know I'm also comfortable with or I'm, I'm more open to changing my schedule but maybe sometimes you just want to say no I'm not okay with the night schedule because I have family and you can explain that you know so uh, another question that they asked her uh, was about if if you don't have any uh, technical experience working in an IT support specialist area, um, how do you think you have? Um, how do you think you you kind of stand against the other candidates that have experience? So maybe here she talked about her passion. That look, I I want to get into this field. I want to grow in this field, and I'm taking these courses. And look at the courses that I'm taking right now. My passion is there. I'm so dedicated that even if you hire someone more technical it's still I'm going to be there in no time and I will grow in this company you kind of you gonna tell the person that I want this job you know I'm, I'm eager to get this job it's not a, the person is not looking for a super technical person here he's looking for a person who's going to take over these responsibilities and do it with passion so that's what they're looking for remember that because some people let they get away from their head a little bit they get too technical they get too too confident with themselves and say you know what no I'm not gonna take this schedule or that schedule because I, I think I'm too good for this stuff or th this is where you're you're going against the other person who's hiring you and you're getting hired so you need to make sure you know that you're getting hired so you need to put your level uh, you, you have to put yourself in a position where you're just asking for it so you, you this is where I say is you got to be very technical over there like when you when you um, come up against someone and they wanted to see uh, you're going to show a little cockiness or things like that I have actually did another did another video on how some IT guys just uh, get out of the line and things go bad for them given the scenario how would you troubleshoot this and what if you already provided the path of resolution and none of them works how will you resolve that probably she answered that you know I'm going to call um, maybe the technical support of that company and things like that that's just a normal question we're looking for an individual who can contribute to the company's success what is your five years goal and that's kind of important too because they want people to come and stay and grow with them that's fine with them that's fine with any other companies they don't want people to just come and just run and then they have to do the whole process for HR and all that stuff so make sure you also search about these questions a lot what will you make you what will make you leave this company so that's really up to you maybe uh, you're changing the, the place and things like that um, do you have any pending application what do you think uh, why do you think we should hire you and that's <laughs> this why do you think we should hire seriously google that i'm not going to give you any answer for that there's a lot of good answers um than me but like i said it's really up to your own personality don't be fake the main thing that i can tell you just don't be fake in interview questions like you know whatever it is you just tell them up front liz i got this job because she even told them that uh, maybe this is not she was she didn't have any experience probably going to this country new country and saying that she just kind of show them look my dedication is there look at these courses that I'm taking my dedication is there because I am not giving up and these courses are good they're hands-on I'm, I'm look uh, I just want you guys to check this out this is kind of what she did like you know by telling that continue education remember that she used that word continuing education courses and it's kind of like you know made an impression for, to someone that this person is passionate about what she's doing so this is Laser. I want to thank you again for sharing this information with us and uh, hopefully this information will be useful for someone who is new uh, to IT and wanting to get into IT and if you are interested in joining just like Laser and what I told her on Facebook messaging I basically told her to start with help the sticking system then go to Active Directory then take Microsoft Office 365 administration course and then take the help this uh, support technician specialist course which is a big course so that's what she did and now this is where she is thank you for watching i'll see you guys a different video